Turkana North, Kenya, a sub-county full of adventure, loneliness, worries, looming drought, from mountainous rivers, streams, and roads. Follow us as we take you round to the remains of dried hoods, with sand giving hope to the northerners. Our travel started from Lodwe, a major town in Turkana County. Now we are driving along the stretch of the shores of Lake Turkana, an area worst hit with climate change driven by worse drought in years, here at the Horn of Africa. As you can see, pasture has been depleted due to four consecutive failure of rain seasons. You can see animals along this stretch, which are always along while driving. The few that remained have migrated to the borders, which are not safe and secure, disrupting normal settlement. Animals found along this stretch are mostly shots, goats and sheep. They are always been around here and they have been wiped in big numbers by the continuing drought and those that are left are weak for the market. Rivers have not flown for a while now, forcing locals to dig more than 20 feet in some and dug wells. Most communities have not been reached by balls or piped water. And if you ask anyone here to prioritize their needs, water will always be ranked number one. There is always happiness in Turkana people in times of drought. That when the drought affects the plains, their hope is raised to the mountains. And in this case, all mountainous regions, which are mostly found in Turkana North, have always been known to be rainlands for animals pasture during dry seasons. But as we can see, these are equally affected, putting residents in no alternative routes to follow. Most residents here along the stretch have decided to migrate to the borders of Kenya, Ethiopia and Kenya, Sudan, venturing in even more life-threatening taking endeavors. The slogan here is animals first. The main economic livelihoods here is pastoralism and this tells you how important are livestock to the life continuity in this region. The land and tree cover within this sub-county will not recover anytime soon. As September rains are predicted to fail, putting hopes of residents to even more deep dark holes. The silence of children and women along this route is so scary and looks as if no one will ever return back. The main reason for migration is lack of pasture, inadequate water or lack of it at all and food insecurity and our hope for the future is if all this will be restored. The housing structures in this place and most parts of Turkana County are manyatas, a thatched and temporal houses which explains the poor living standards of communities within this region. Settlements here are concentrated along the roads to enable communities receive services from the government and development partners. 90% of tree cover here is acacia and as a result of droughts and loss of their known livelihood source, communities have resorted to charcoal burning. Although this has effect in reduction in tree cover, it also upscales the climate change, which is very, very dangerous.